welcome to vlog two of our Disneyland trip. We are outside the hotel, it's half past seven in the morning. And feeling fresh? Yes, we are feeling fresh. We're off to Disneyland Park, main park today. We slept pretty well, went to bed at like 11. I woke up at half four. Yeah, and then I woke up at six. Yeah, you got a little bit more sleep than me. So I have got myself another Starbucks, another pumpkin iced chai <laughs> latte with a shot of espresso. What a way to start the day, breakfast champions. No, we are gonna get a nice breakfast actually. Yeah. I'm thinking in the parks, we've got a few choices. So we'll show you what we end up having. But if you are new around here, Hello, my name is Brogan. I'm Benji. And we are here in Disneyland for five days. We've flown from the UK and we're doing a short trip. So you're gonna get vlogs every day. So make sure you subscribe so you see them. This is day two, so if you haven't seen day one, go find Definitely it. Definitely go watch that. Flew with Virgin yesterday, staying here at the Hyatt Regency, Orange County. It's very, very lovely. Today's really exciting for our first full day in the Disneyland park where Walt walked. This is the original. It's got heaps of history. We thought we'd do a guided tour. So it's not a VIP tour guide it's a guided tour that anyone could book onto big group of people and they have a special disney 100 version right now for the anniversary coming up in october we basically booked onto it it was about a hundred and something dollars i'll put it on screen uh, per person and you get the tour guide for two hours you get a special pin a special snack and a viewing spot for magic happens the parade so we're doing that at 11 15. so get ready for a lot of regurgitated facts <laughs> yeah that I will try and pass off as my own. Please do. We <laughs> want to share all the little like hidden, hidden gems, gems. Yeah. the hidden Mickeys, <laughs> all the fun facts. We're really excited about it. So we're going to share that experience with you. We're going to go on some rides today as well, see the parade and then play it by ear. So yeah, let's go and do a Disney day. Let's do this. This is what it looks like at the pickup spot for the bus. It comes every half an hour on the 15 and 45 of the hour, if that makes sense. Yeah. And I've got my, my drink, so. Happy, happy days. A new favorite for you, isn't it? It's gorgeous, this pumpkin thing. Amazing. Oh, we're nearly there. We're halfway there. We're actually not halfway, we're literally there. <laughs> it is currently 15 degrees, oh, 17 degrees. And it's going to go up to 26 today, which is absolutely perfect for us. Outfit of the day. Batland dress, Halloween ears, <laughs> Halloween backpack, trainers. We actually match today, don't we? Matching trainers, <laughs> <laughs> which we've never done before. You've got a Mickey T. Where's that from? I don't remember. Palmer. I bought it in Palmer, didn't I? Oh, you did? Yeah. And he's got blue shorts, matching trainers. Cute. <laughs> Something we've been so looking forward to is the Halloween decorations. Yeah. They are so good here at Disneyland. There's some pumpkin spotting. Yes, so they've got some above the main entrance here and then they've got a giant pumpkin on the other side. But I'm just so excited because it's going to look so good. Look how cute this looks. I absolutely love it. Oh, wow. Oh, look at Minnie with the red leaves. Oh, it's so good. The detail, look at the, the vines coming out of his mouth. Oh my goodness, it is so cool. I love it. Oh, look at it, Ben. Halloween time. Oh, it literally says yeah, it, Halloween like time. I always love this plaque. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. Right, we got tissues ready. I don't feel like there's tears in me for yeah, this okay. one. Well, let's, let's clip that. I don't think there is. Yeah. Oh, look at the pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the colours, the orange and the yellows. It's so pretty. Oh, it is honestly so pretty. Let's go and do a pumpkin picture then. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my goodness, look at all these characters. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Donald! Hi! <Hey. laughs> Look at the outfits! We're just waving and welcoming everybody right now. And at oh, that's so cute! Yeah. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> that's so adorable. The outfit's so cute. Morning, Mickey! <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, that's so cute. Goofy's just joined them now. This is amazing. I love this. I'm gonna take a picture. Oh my god, I'm in actual heaven. Uh, 
I can't actually cope with the outfits. Like, they are so adorable. What a great way to start the day. Hi, Donald. Good morning. <laughs> I'm obsessed. That is honestly something special. I left Benji in the queue for the pumpkin. Had a good time over there. <laughs> Had a great time. Chatting with house. You guys got to show you my selfies. I, I, I watched the whole thing. <laughs> I was going to text you when Goofy came in because I saw him walk across and then you were like, were you taking a selfie? And you went, yeah. <laughs> so we're just in our queue still for the pumpkin. It's taking about 30 minutes so far. So. We thought we'd do it while the sun's nice and we look nice. But look at this weather, it's absolutely perfect. Isn't it? It's oh, water. feeding me. Yeah, no, really nice. Oh! Yay! <laughs> Pumpkin Elvis. Oh, the detail's so cool. Here she is. Look at the decorations. Can you see the Disney 100 stuff on it? It looks amazing. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. No, it's good. No, it's good. <laughs> no. Just don't cry. Just don't be crying. I mean, we're in it's like happy tears. We're it's like Disney I'm so land. happy to be been here. here. Four years, but of course, just don't cry. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. It's more like the overwhelming emotion, you know? Like. Well, there's so much planning that's gone into it, and now we're here. Just amazing. Walking down Main Street. <laughs> we are going in Penny Arcade where they have candy. This is definitely questionably creepy. Ooh, sugar cookies. We've got a little list that we need to buy. Sugar cookies is a must. And Rice Krispie treats. That's cool, is that a cinnamon by the looks of it? Yeah, it looks like it. I know we've obviously talked about it being Halloween, but it is also the 100th anniversary, and I feel really lucky that we've been able to come right before they celebrate as a company. So the decorations on the castle right now are beautiful. I got purples and gold, and it's really, really nice. It's all a bit different, isn't it? Because we're yeah. so used to Florida and Paris. It's a little laying out differently. Matterhorn. That's not one we tend to go on anymore. Oh no, I can't, I don't fit in it. No. Oh, the pumpkins. Look at the carvings on the pumpkins. Oh, that is so cool. Look at the detailing. They've got the actual names of what it is on the plaques underneath. Oh look, Tink. Love it. Which one's this one? Winnie the Pooh Benj, look. And then, we might as well go and see them all. Woody, very good. Love that. Jack Skellington, obviously, Halloween time. Look, they have Tarzan. Oh, look at the castle! Oh my goodness, Ben, just take a selfie here. It looks beautiful. Oh, look at the Disney 100 logo, it looks so good. I don't know if I've noticed this before, but it says, when you wish upon a star, your dreams will come true. All the way around the edge. How lovely. That is so pretty, isn't it? Look at this little spot we found. Love it. I say we found, I mean, it's like, it's here. Everyone but. always goes to the front of the castle, which is fair, but if you come just a little bit further around, with the trees here. And the water features as well. I think it looks really pretty. Yeah. Next on our agenda is to get some breakfast. So I had two spots. One was Carnation Cafe, which is one of the original restaurants that Walt ate in. So I thought that could be a good one to start the trip before our tour. But then I was watching Disney Food Blog and they recommended these chimichanga wraps near Big Thunder. So we're gonna go and see if we can find them because they look like our kind of thing. Yeah. We've also just booked Indiana Jones on our Genie Plus. Enchanted Tiki Room. <laughs> wow. No, way. thank you. We are looking for breakfast, but we are also just keeping an eye out for pin trading, if they have any. This is not big enough for trick or treating. <laughs> You're gonna get what? Two fun size Mars bars in there? No. It'd be cute for a candle, wouldn't it? Like a plastic one. I think it'd melt. No, yeah. a plastic. No, no, like a fake candle. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I should have specified that. Benj, can you make Woody dance? Oh, you have to put a quarter in it. Woody, can you dance, please? Should we put a quarter in? Can't make Woody dance. I just asked it really nicely. <laughs> he said no. Politely, rude. Rude, so like, rude. So you do four films, and then just a fan goes to your head. <laughs> I love going through the shops in the morning when everyone's rushing to do rides. It's nice and quiet. Are they pens? Yeah. Oh, they're really sweet. I thought you'd like them. Look at Woody's little hat. They're really cute. So we're on our way to find this breakfast chimichanga thing and this is Tiana's Palace, which is brand new. Just opened a couple of weeks ago and you can mobile order and there's loads of nice space outside to eat. And it's in the shade as well, which is good if it gets hot. Yes, and they have beignets. Nice. Want to have a beignet? Oh, Look at the front. 
we've gone the wrong way. Here it is. This is the little stand. It's literally right opposite Big Thunder Mountain. They sell this breakfast chimichanga. Apparently they sell out because they're very popular. But they also do frozen lemonade and coffee and hot chocolate. So yeah, we're gonna get in the queue and grab one if we can. All right, we've got our breakfast chimichanga. Let's see what these look like. Very excited about this. I don't think I've ever had a, any derivative of chimichanga before. Neither have I. I don't think I've had a chimichanga, no. Wow. Yeah, it smells amazing. Wow, it looks like a, a pancake, like texture. And then what's inside, like scrambled egg and bacon. I like it, great. Mmm, I understand the hype now. It's good, isn't it? Mm. So it says they serve them until 11 a.m. or until stops, until right supplies run out. That is a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's soft, it's got lots of flavor. It's not too heavy for a breakfast option because we want to eat little and often today. A breakfast Yorkshire pudding wrap, but with like yeah, but dinner. Hmm. The Yorkshire pudding wrap. That's exactly what it's like. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. We got a frozen raspberry lemonade. It's like minute made lemonade, but slushy format. Oh, that's incredible. Mm. That's so good. That is perfect, and we love it because we can just share one of these. Obviously. That breakfast was a 10 out of 10. It was so good. We enjoyed it a lot. And now we've come, well, we went to walk to Indy. Sorry, and also the lemonade was incredible as well. Yes, Raspberry so we good. had. So good. Um, so we went to walk to Indiana Jones because we've got a, oh, we keep wanting to call it Fast Pass, Genie Pass, Lightning Lane, in 20 minutes. And as we're walking past, Mirabelle is meeting in this really cute little setup they have. And then once we've done Indiana Jones, we need to sort of start thinking about going over to our meeting spot. Well, we'll have about an hour actually. We're we'll going to do our guided tour. I'm so excited. So yeah, me too. I want to learn all about the history and really appreciate the park in a new way. I think we're actually doing both parks on the tour. Oh, really? Lots of walking then. A little bit of walking, yeah. This is what I mean. It's like a really pretty setup and I just sort of make a cute little photo so it shouldn't take too long. You can sort of gauge the length of the queue, like how long it might take. I'm going to predict 15 minutes for this one. Hi! The earrings are pretty easy. Oh, nice. Yeah, like, I love the that. butterfly is probably one of my favorite parts. Although it does start to like turn into a flower shape, so I hate it. Like, you know what? Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just, you know, little sisters always trying to be like her. Yeah. Even if I'm trying to make it about the sun. I know. Yeah, totally. totally. <laughs> what is your name? Frankie. We traveled far from the UK. What? We landed yesterday. Thank you. 11 hours. I'm a bit jet lagged, but I've had a chimichanga, I've had a frozen lemonade. I'm ready for the day. <laughs> because we have been very lucky enough to do Paris and Florida in the last year, our brain cannot process the exact map of where everything is. So we're trying to navigate it and we're failing a little miserably, aren't we? Yeah. We are, uh, we're well, getting it all wrong. We get to go and see lots of nooks and crannies, but we end up in dead ends. <laughs> Here it is, here it is, we were so close. Yeah, so next to Jungle Cruise here, they have Indiana Jones, which has a 65 minute wait right now. It's definitely a popular one. Uh, let me just check when our lightning lane was for. Oh, it's 10 past 10. That's so we can go in at five past 10. So we've got five minutes. Come into a shop just to kill five minutes. And look how beautiful these hats are. The detailing on these. Absolutely gorgeous if you were looking for one. They have a few of these things that you have to put money into to do something. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Benj is on the hunt for one of these A wide brim hat for hats. the cruise. It's yeah. too, this is too small, but this is like the... That's the kind of thing you want, isn't it? Like you want getting served loads of ads on Instagram for like loads of like really colourful ones. But you just want a neutral want one. Something quite neutral. Yeah. I actually do like it and I don't really like these hats. He's got a bigger size now. What do like you think? It. Yeah? I think it's a... It's nice and neutral as well, so I can wear it with anything. Cool. I just can't, like when we're in like Egypt or whatever next year, I can't just have a pizza. No, hat. that's fair. Something more. Ben's just popped to the bathroom, so while I wait, I thought I'd let you know that we're about to go on Indiana Jones, and we really love this ride. If you haven't been to Disneyland before, but you've done Walt Disney World, it's essentially the same as Dinosaur in Animal Kingdom. Same sort of track layout, but this one is much better. I think it's much more immersive. It's, it feels newer. We're going to do that, and then we will make our way back to the front of the park to go and meet our tour guide, which is such a perfect way to start this trip in this day. I'm Sama, shall now give you counsel to seek out your water right. Here we go. I'm so excited. Is this our first ride of the day? It is. Oh.
Well, that was fun. Yeah. Forgot how good it is, how much detail there yeah, is. Yeah, it's a fun ride. Isn't really it? fun. We did have some excessive screaming going on behind I don't us. Don't mind people having fun, but really. <laughs> It was so loud, it was giving me a headache. I'm swearing. It's it was like... so much. I'll try and insert a bit, you can hear it. It was really loud. It's now 20 to 11, so we're going to make our way back towards the top of Main Street to go and meet our tour guide yeah. and uh, start the tour. We're not 100% sure how much we can film of the tour. We know we're going to the Animation Academy in DCA for a drawing class and as we said we can share some of the things we learn yeah, we're gonna now. make our way back down but i, I want to yeah mooch maybe a snack we'll see because yesterday we struggled with timings on trying to get our dinner we've actually mobile ordered some lunch and some snacks we thought this would be better so after our tour finishes we know we're going to be available to go and collect these things so these first and then that so i desperately want to get some of this it looks very basic but it's churro toffee and it's meant to be incredible. How cute are these? Yeah, oh, Rice Krispie Treats. Well. Oh, so sweet. Look at these. I Goodness. just wouldn't want to eat it, it's so cute. I want one of these. Yeah, we'll get and you one of those. 10 of them to take home. Yeah, that's fair. How cool is that? Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought it was just playing out of a speaker. <laughs> That is amazing. I always like to keep an eye out for different rucksacks that are not lounge flies because sometimes when I'm in Florida I like a bigger bag and this one is fantastic it's got water bottle holders and the straps are nice and thick. Very cute and it's much bigger and it's got little ghosties on the tags. Love it. $39.99. Why does that look so cute on you? <laughs> it's a hat with ears. I mean it's a very Benji thing to be fair. It actually looks so cute. Yeah. I really like it. I don't like this like fabric material though. I like that the, um, the, s the like the Nikons. Really. Yeah. Not as sweaty. Look at these ears. I've never seen anything like it. Oh, Benj, I need to try them on. Can you tell that's a bow? I think you can. Yeah, oh, you they can are cute. Like, why are they like that? Because it's just a design, isn't it? With the beads of the Mickey. Oh, no, you do, but I don't. You don't like them? Yeah. Oh, guys, he's wrong, isn't he? He's absolutely wrong. I, I've literally never ever been wrong once in my life. <laughs> Fun fact. Um, excuse me, but hi, these are so cute. You don't have a workplace. Your, your um, lunch I bag did. is literally just me carrying it upstairs to you. <laughs> so this shop had an absolutely amazing selection of pins and I did a bit of damage. So once again, you'll have to watch the haul to see what I ended up with. So I got some good ones. Actually, should I show you them one? I'll give the vlog viewers a little sneaky peek. So we haven't been over to Toontown yet, but I saw this one. I love it, I've never seen it before. So I love the colours on it. It's a really nice colour scheme, isn't it? Really nice. Welcome to Mickey's Teen Town. So got that and I got a couple of Halloween ones. Yesterday I got Mickey Halloween and they didn't have mini, but I've just found mini. So they have actually just put some of them on Shop Disney, but mm. found some good ones. So let me pop those in your bag and, and we'll head on over. Tour time. I just love the history here. They keep the light on where Walt's apartment was. So cool. You just can't help but think about Walt so much when you walk around here, like he walked these streets and he must have been so proud to see it all come to life. Now look at all the parks around the world. It's just crazy. I love it. Little magical moment. We bought a Sprite, but the cast member gave us some free popcorn. They're just changing over the batch, aren't they? Yeah. We love going on the train. We'll definitely have to go on that. The Disneyland Railroad train here is where we check in for our guided tours. Okay, we've checked in and they've given us name badges. <laughs> How cute is that? You got yours on. Um, and we've also got, uh, what are these? Microphone headset things. So let's put this on me. Oh, there's music. <gasps> so in tumbling have you? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why is such a wind up? I'm gonna munch on our popcorn. <laughs> our free popcorn, it's the best mm. type of popcorn. Yeah, it is. Are we just looking at all the yellow bits? Is that a good thing? I know you're going. More flavour. More butter or something. I just gone to check and this tour cost $110 each. So I paid £171.36p for us both in the current conversion. We're going to give you our honest opinions. Okay, so we're starting the tour in Disney's California Adventure. There's about 
15 miles maybe, 10 of us? Okay, so we've started on Buena Vista Street and Fernando's just told us a little bit about the very beginning of Walt's career and how he started here with just his bags. He made the Alice films, made 26 of them. Yes. So he was he only supposed to make six at the start and then he ended up making 26. Yeah, I didn't actually know a lot of the stories he was telling us, but it was really interesting. Already I'm feeling like this is such a nice way to spend a couple of hours in the park. Yeah, we've got our headsets on, we've got music playing in between him chatting. It's just nice. It's nice no, really, I'm enjoying it. Good. Just been learning about the story of Oswald, the lucky rabbit, who was actually not very lucky. That whole story was quite interesting, actually, on how and where he let go of Oswald. And then we've learned a little bit about how Steamboat Willie and Mickey Mouse came to life. Um, so, really interesting. And this is what it looks like. This is our group. Good. Good things to know too is that if you didn't have a ticket to DCA it didn't matter because he took us into a private entrance and we're also going into a private entrance for the Animation Academy too where we're going to go and do some drawing. Wow, this is so cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to officially welcome you to the Animation Academy. My name is Mia. I'm going to be your Disney artist. And I want to go over a bit of that history here with you. Um, now, we did start off with the first feature length film was Snow White, like merging with some other countries, kind of like building stronger bonds. Um, so it was a different time. After that, we go over to the Silver Era. Now, they go back into the feature length films for this. And we are celebrating 100 years of Disney. For that reason, we're picking very specific decades with really carving them out. And for this one, we're going to be focusing in the 1970s. We're going to be drawing a little bit, a little teddy bear full of fluff and stuff. We're going to be drawing Winnie the Pooh for this class. Yeah. And we're going to add a diagonal to combine these together. Now, um, this is going to give us a slanted forehead for a Pooh Bear. Um, and this is a feature that's typically seen in black bears. And so this makes him look a little bit more authentic because he is based off of a real bear from the London Zoo. And they were also very low on budget because Walt was really passionate about you know using not only his own money, but really putting everything he had into his movies. Um, and they had the Academy. Your exit doors there are go. now open for you. Those Here's Benji's. Yours Before looks really good though. Out, you you a bit human. Your that that bit was hard, yeah. And, and I went a bit hard on my bass lines. Class. Oh, she's trying. Those drawings are yours to keep this souvenir. When you come out of the Animation Academy, this is what it looks like inside. It's so cool. We have to go and do Turtle Talk with Crush at some point. So many things in here, isn't there? It's easy to forget. That was really fun. I was surprised that I actually managed to do it. You did, you did a really good job. Neither am I. I'm creative, but I'm not very good at drawing. But I actually really enjoyed that. Next stop is Carthay Circle, which makes a lot of sense that we did the anim animation and we're learning about the films and the storyline. And now we're here for where they had the full length feature film for Snow White. So we've just heard a bit more about Carthay Circle, which has got a lot of history. So it's a replica of the one in Hollywood. Three fourths scale. Ah, oh, and also it makes a lot of sense that they did the Animation Academy. So he's taking us on a journey, isn't he, through the 100 years. Yes. What I was gonna say is that we do actually have a reservation for Carthay Circle Lounge on Friday. So make sure you subscribe and you don't miss the last vlog we're going to put up but we'll show you what that's like because it's a very popular restaurant so we're halfway on the tour we're just having a little comfort break and i'm really enjoying it so far it's so nice to actually really think about the roots of how everything started it makes you appreciate it differently the journey they went on with the films and then developing it and the you know different eras of films they've had and the art and how that's changed into 3d animation and all that the way the park has been designed as well has made me think about like I didn't really appreciate what yeah, everything no, I was. I didn't know why each building was here. Yeah. This part of it. But yeah, now it makes sense that this mm. is early 1920s going up to later 1920s. Yeah. And you then you turn left and it goes up through the 50s, 60s, 70s and that. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. So I've just noticed, look at the, um, can you see the oh, yeah. <laughs> sparkles on the wall? <laughs> that one's quite nice at the top there. I'm just looking at pins. Look at those. Yeah, we've got a big thunder pin already. Yeah. Love these princess ones, but I don't think I want four. If they sold those individually, I'd probably buy one. We do our own photo books these days, but if we did do a physical book, that is exactly what I'd want. How nice is that? That's a nice photo frame. Look at that one, Bench. It matches our Walt Disney World one. Really? To all who come to this happy place. Welcome. Yay. <laughs> They're playing the real dedication of Walt's 
speech in our ear. This is the oldest building in Disneyland, the Opera House. Oh, wow. Look at that. I don't think we've been in here before. It's from the new Haunted Mansion film. It looks heavy, doesn't it? It does look heavy. Wow, the detailing's incredible. To develop this technique, Walt Disney and his team created the multi-plane camera. A replica that can be seen right here inside of our opera house on Main Street. The actual bench from the Griffith Park. Oh, that's where Walt dreamed of Disneyland. <laughs> Every time he moves on to something, the music matches. Like, there's been dedications, there's been songs that we're going through sort of the whole journey. At the moment, we're learning more about the parks and it's really, really interesting. I obviously can't really relate it all to you without you have to experience it to really, it's really appreciate good. it. Yeah. yeah, I'd recommend it to anyone. Yeah, you're really enjoying yeah, it? Yeah, really good. good. We've come to the end of the tour. We are going to go and watch Magic Happens with them at half three. It's currently oh, at half past one, um, but they've given us a pin and I love it. It's a special one that you can't buy. Really am happy about this, so <laughs> yay. They're also doing a photo pass for us as well, right in front of the castle, which is really nice. So we're just doing some final thoughts as the tour has come to an end. It hasn't actually, well, the tour has come to an end, but we still have the chance to see Magic Happens in a private viewing area. It's quite cool, isn't it? Really cool, because it's our first time seeing it, but um, actually that was really, really good. I'd recommend that to anyone that's going. Yeah, me too. We learned a lot. It really made us appreciate the journey of getting here. Uh, Fernando, our tour guide, was lovely. The group all nice. It's nice having a chat with other people as well, isn't it? Yeah. The people, other people that have like similar things in common. And yeah. Yeah. We get, talked get, all about our favourite things, and yeah, and the pin was lovely. One you can't buy. Special, special pin. So yeah, to celebrate the 100th anniversary, that's really and nice. And I think we get a snack later with the parade. Yeah, we get a snack, and they have saved our drawings for us, so we didn't have to carry them for the Winnie the mm. Pooh. So they're going to give us those back later too, which I'm sure we're going to frame, put on the wall. <laughs> but anyway, as you know, we mobile ordered from Jolly Holiday behind us, which is a bakery. We've ordered two snacks. Jolly Holiday, which is in honour of the Sherman Brothers, that wrote a lot of the songs. The Mary Poppins and yeah. stuff. Um, it's a jolly holiday. Da, da, da. Mary. Mary. Yes, I was questioning myself then. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll get, we've ordered two snacks. One is a Matterhorn macaroon. They've got a Halloween edition right now, which has got chocolate on top, so we thought we'd try that. And then while we were trying okay. Halloween snacks. It's like a jack-o'-lantern um, macaron. Yeah, so we've got two little sweet Salted snacks. Salted caramel and apple. Yeah, we're going to pick those up, but we didn't want sandwiches there, so we're actually going to go to Hungry Bear Restaurant, which is in Critter Country, which is where we have ordered a burger get some chicken and fries. So we're gonna go and do that, eat lunch and just chill for like an hour and then we're gonna come back here, aren't we? Perfect. Yeah, good. In we go for mobile pickup. I've said that we're here, so it should be being prepared. Wow, it smells amazing in here, doesn't it? Snacks have been secured. Let's pop we, those we in. We've picked pudding first. Pudding first, yeah. Lunch pudding. We've still got our name tags on. Just in case you forget my name. It's okay. been six and a half years, isn't it? So. <laughs> You never know, you might have a moment. Might have a moment. And if, you're, if you get lost, then someone can find me, and then you say, I'm looking for Benjamin. Okay, fair. I know it's completely unrealistic because of like, there's no space around the park like there is in Florida. Yeah. But I wish they had a, a water park yeah. here. Oh yeah, me too. That would just really complete it for me. Oh, they've got the cut Oh yeah, look. The only problem with the canoe is I think you do have to paddle. Do you have to though? Because some some of those people at the back aren't. Well, so. I'd be telling you you've got to paddle because otherwise <laughs> that's naughty. I think we should do that, you know. Well, also if it tips over, then you've got a water park there in itself, have not you? That's true. Yeah. That's really true. After magic it happens, we could go for a swim. We're kind of planning to go back anyway, aren't we, for a little little rest? Yes, I've I've scheduled in um in the schedule of fun a rest period. Yeah. Um, and we want to go to Target at some point. So this is where we're having our lunch. Just told the app that we're here. So we're gonna pick up our food. This is honestly such a genius idea from us. I love the trees around here. I'm not sure if that's a weird thing to say, but it feels like you're in a forest. Like it's really cool. And this restaurant is really neat. I don't think we've ever been here before. And just in case you're curious about the price, the cheeseburger we're about to have is $15.99. The chicken tenders were $11.99 and we're sharing a drink at $5.29. It was a total of £35.85 including tax. So I like to do the mobile orders because I can just pay, pay with Apple Pay. It's 
so easy. Here's what our food looks like. So this is a special Disney 100 burger. So it's a limited edition one. And it basically has an onion ring. It's meant to have a potato. Oh yeah, like a hash yes, brown. Hash brown. Bacon and the cheese, oh my gosh. We also got chicken tenders because they are just- The fries are good. The fries are good mm -hmm. and the chicken tenders just hit differently in Disney. The food was really good actually. Yeah, burger really was, that. you enjoyed it? Yeah. Yeah, the this burger. Exactly what I needed. Exactly what you need. Sometimes yeah. that's all you need is a burger and some chicken and some chips. So the burger was really flavorful. It had a really nice like jam with the cheese and the potato. It tasted like a special burger. No, it wasn't just a box standard. Yeah, it was really yeah. nice. Could have done with a bit of lettuce in it. No. Yeah. You did. You did need a bit of lettuce, guys. But it was it was nice. Uh, chicken can't go wrong with chicken tenders. Yeah. Always good. And now we have those little extra snacks. So we've got our our Halloween macaron. No. It tastes very artificial. The apple flavour is quite nice in the middle there. Now this next snack, to be honest, I did have this vision of getting a really cute clip of it in front of the matter But it looks definitely like matter. It does. Well, this is a Halloween version. It is normally got white chocolate on top. Yeah, so it doesn't look like that. Yeah, well, so it looks like snow normally, but... Whereas now it looks like... That is... Best not to think about what it looks like before <laughs> you eat it. The chocolate is not great because I don't like American chocolate like that. So I think if it was plain, I, maybe I'd like it better. It hasn't got loads of coconutty flavour that you'd expect. Wouldn't order it again. Lunch is done. Put some powder on my very sweaty face. Got the and energy levels boosted back up. Boosted back up. I've taken my ears off. I've brushed my hair. Feeling fresh. Like a new woman. Yeah. I do. And while we were over here, we had a little look on the app and we booked Big Thunder Mountain as our next Genie Plus. So we're basically relying on that right now. They're little biscuits, but yeah, I like these gold ones. They're really pretty, aren't they? I also really like these. They're really fun. They're really cute. As well as the canoes on the river, they also have this standing boat thing, which is quite cute. And they also have the Mark Twain traditional boat and they have the pirate ship thing. So there's loads going on, actually. And you can go over to the island and explore over there, which we have never done either. So yeah, loads going on here, I love it. We haven't done Galaxy's Edge or Toontown yet, but we've done that on purpose because we're gonna save those for our next day. Probably tomorrow, actually. Oh, the live music here, honestly, is amazing. You have entertainment going on, it's just impressive. Big Thunder is 30 minutes. We've asked if we could be on the back row. If you ask nicely, then they just ask you to wait and then you get to go on the back row. And we like the back because... We can film with no one in the background. Correct. But also, it just feels a little bit better. Because you're like the last, you're the last one, you know? The momentum. Okay. It feels faster. Okay. Your hat's coming in nicely, isn't it? I just said to you earlier, it feels like I've got my own little, like, shade station. My face isn't getting that hot and sweaty because the sun's not really hitting it. Yeah. My bag down there. Wildest ride in the wilderness! Woo! <laughs> oh, one more time, let's go. This is my favourite ride. Love Big Thunder. Love Big Thunder. Love it. Always keen for Big Thunder. Always keen. I think it, it, we could we could not do any other ride. We've always got to do Big Thunder. Always, yeah. There's a real turtle in the water. How cute is that? It's either real or the animatronics are a joke. <laughs> oh, no, there's another one there, something. Oh, yeah. Is it technically a terrapin? A terrapin? Yeah. What does that mean? It's like a small turtle, isn't it? Oh, is it? Yeah. 
Look, they're oh, so cute. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, look. So that's the way to Galaxy's Edge. And this is the way to Fancyland. Like I said, we're going to do Galaxy's Edge another day. And we're going to try and make our way back to the parade spot where we're meeting our tour group again. And we're also going to try and see if we can spot my friend Kevin because he is working today. We thought we'd try and say hello. We're seeing him later on, but we want to see him working. in the wild. <laughs> we did, yeah. If he's around, we're only going to pa pass by and say hello. He's probably busy, but um, we're going to see. Okay, Fantasyland was absolutely heaving, so no sign of finding my friend Kevin. But we are going to go and do Buzzy. One of your faves. It is, yeah. I love Buzz. Buzzy. We call it Buzzy, but it's obviously... What is it? Uh, Astro Blast. Blasters, I think. Yeah. Buzzy. Fuzzy for us, like indie. This is what our app looks like. We've also booked Haunted Mansion Holiday. So it's letting us have multiple ones at the moment. So I think after 120 minutes or when your last one is buzzed in, you can then book another. I think that's how it is. All right, you junior space rankers, listen up. Zerg is using the stolen bathroom cells to energize a secret weapon. Our mission is to find his robots and his secret weapon and blast them. Green Squadron will retrieve the power cells all the rest of you, concentrate on those robots. Here we go. All right, we'll show you at the end what we do. I got 71,300 and Benji got 95,300. Well done, babe. You won. We'll have to have a rematch on Toy Story Mania tomorrow. That is serious, because I normally win on that one. I get stretching the season. I get stretching. They've just given us our Disney 100 special treat. It's a shortbread biscuit thing I think really kind and it's huge it's like the size of my hand if not bigger so we're gonna eat that when we watch the parade and this is our reserved viewing spot it's right opposite the railroad and they've like boarded it off and there's loads of space but there's nowhere quite in the shade I'm trying to get some of the shade here but it's very warm Corella is just casually walking around saying that she's the real parade <laughs> give us a tune what have you got Darling. <laughs> I just am the music queen. Oh, you are? Okay. <laughs> you look fabulous. Oh, I know. Yeah. I mean, look at me. Look at you. Unbelievable. Very warm in this weather. Oh, no, no. I'm heartless, darling. Oh, okay. What are the many benefits? I've got nothing. Oh, wow. Heartless. Heartless. <laughs> Live music, I just love live music so, so much. So nice. So the tour guides gave us a uh, 
little research, yeah well they did a little quiz so we had to name um, an opening day attraction so Benji said Autopia and I said Jungle Cruise so we got one each we've just been talking all about Disney 100 they've given us a sticker they've given us the snack they've given us our Winnie the Pooh poster and Benji and I were just saying that we're actually doing something really fun for the Disney 100th in the UK. We're going to the um, exhibition that's in London, so make sure you keep an eye out for that vlog that we're going to be filming. Subscribe so you don't miss all the other things we get up to. So we're going to do this, that's the plan, and then we're going to hopefully find my friend Kevin. The story of Kevin is kind of a longer one, but the short version is in 2015, I came to Disneyland for the day on my own. I was walking around, I met him in the queue in Indiana Jones. He was just on his own as well, but he lived nearby at the time and he had an annual pass and he took me around for the day, showed me everything, bought me a churro, we became friends. And then when Benj and I visited four years later in 2018, we saw him again. He's also the friend that sent me the giant Minnie Mouse that's in our spare room, if you've ever watched any of my other videos. And we kept in touch, and now it's been four more years, and we're back 2023 seeing him again. So we're seeing him today, and then hopefully a couple more times this week, but he is working, so he works here in Disneyland. He's done a variety of roles, but he is a wonderful, wonderful person, and we're very lucky to have him as a friend. So we've bought him some British chocolate, actually, but we're gonna have to give it to him when it's not the middle of the day. We don't want to carry it around. The parade's coming now, so let me show you. You can see it. This is our first time seeing this song. It's a ball.
How's it going? We're doing amazing yourself. What did you say? It's been four Ooh. years. It's been four, wait, it's been four years? Yeah. Yeah, four years. Wow, that's... Okay, forgive me, I got distracted catching up with Kevin, but we went to Haunted Mansion, all three of us, to do the holiday overlay, and this was really, really fun. I loved it. The stockings all hung by the chimney with care When opened that morning Would cause such a scare train all the way back. Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Oh, People so like you have been insane. riding these rails yeah. since the 1800s, traveling through nature's wonderland. We are back at the hotel. This is such a nice afternoon catching up with Kevin, isn't it? Yeah, so we haven't been filming too much because we've obviously been chatting to him. He is such a wonderful soul and we are going to get his chocolate in our room. <laughs> <laughs> so he just drove us back instead of us getting the bus. Um, so we're going to go pick it up and then uh, we'll see him tomorrow. We decided to go for a swim. It's actually quite late. It's like 20 past seven or something. Oh, it's dark. When did it get dark? We, we went to lie down, we didn't sleep, we just laid down, didn't we? Maybe we did, did we sleep for three hours accidentally? No, we didn't. Oh my god, the light's outside, it's so pretty. Okay, this is the pool. It says it's open till 10 p.m., so... Oh yeah, green. It's actually quite chilly. Benj, <laughs> it's a little chilly. It's really it's holiday, it can't be chilly. It's holiday, it's cold. <laughs> Oh, no, it's not fine. It's no, it's well, it's not. No, uh -uh. <laughs> veto. <laughs> Benjamin is. I've a lot more energies now. That oh, know. good. Well, I'm glad you do because I'm now it's warm frozen. Thing. Get your body out. Oh no, my chief are jattering. <laughs> I want to go in the hot. There's a hot tub over there. There's no space. I don't know. It's quite full. I don't know. Let me have a look. I have honestly been craving a swim all afternoon. But now that the sun has set, the temperature's dropped. It's freezing. It's actually chilly. There's actually a breeze. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I was really up for it and now I'm just not. It's too cold. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really tired. However, we both wanna go to Target because if we don't go now, we won't have snacks and drinks that we want for the rest of the week. So we could go in the morning, but we know that you love Target as much as we do. Yeah. You can't deprive everyone of Target. No, we've got to go. So... I don't know what we're going to do about food. I'm just not hungry. Uh, no, I, ju I just need a few snacks. Yeah. I feel like some, ma some maids for the room or something and we'll be, we'll be gravy. Yeah. Cool. Suits me. Here we go. The mothership of all motherships. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> oh wow, look at all their different uh, cereal. Pumpkin Spice Special K. I really love Fruit Loops. I haven't had these in ages. I'd actually really love a bowl of Fruit Loops with some milk right now. Like that actually would be an amazing dinner. <laughs> First up, I go to the makeup and beauty stuff. Do I need anything? Probably not. Actually, no I do. I want a Tarte mascara. Not that I can't get it in the UK, but 
can't seem to see it. Oh, here it is. This is my mascara. $25. I don't know if that's cheaper here or not, but I'm going to get some. I don't think I've seen this before. A lot of their makeup is actually covered in locked cabinets. So you can see it on display, but you can't really touch it or anything. Not my favorite way to shop, but I understand why they've done it. I could honestly spend hours in here, but I'm just too tired to spend hours, but I have done before. <laughs> this is the razors. So I understand why these might also be behind glass but you have to ask for help to get anything like and then deodorant is also all behind cupboards which is kind of weird i'm not sure if I, i've ever seen this in a target before so a lot of you know i love the caramel m ms those blue ones down there but these are my new favorite ones sharing bags we're gonna get these several of those thank you oh my goodness dip the biscuit into the cream you scoop your finger in there is that just like the filling yeah amazing I love these big boxes of pretzels like this. Oh, popcorn with M&M's. So many good things, guys. I just want it all. I really want cereal. Like, I'd love a bowl of cereal for dinner tonight. They sell the pink drink. Pinkity drinkity. Yeah. <laughs> Should I try it or is it going to be rubbish? I don't think it's going to be the same as in store, is it? <gasps> My chocolate mocha, that's coming with me. <laughs> You're coming home with me. Well, no, it just me to drink this glass. I know, I know what you mean. Are coming home with these original. They have pumpkin spice, caramel apple, and this is caramel apple filled. Oh, it's like, like so gooey it's middle. In the middle, yeah. So it's the hard car caramel candy on the outside with apple flavour in the middle. I'm struggling with the fact that everything seems to be really big sizes, so you can't really just try something. Some of you may remember I bought these before. We absolutely love these straws. I'm not sure if everyone has like a list of their favourite straws, but I would say that if we these had a list. Bizarre. We really wanted a new Awala water bottle, but having looked at the selection doesn't seem to be any they have like other ones that are similar i mean that's I that's ginormous like that is ginormous i love their home stuff i would never be able to get any of it back yeah, but like this range is really nice oh i want these that's so stinking cute this is our kind of halloween decor isn't it yeah i love this oh feel the blanket oh it's so much softer than i thought it was gonna be that's so nice they say you are what you eat a fruit loop yeah i am gonna have these for dinner tonight is that rogue is that girl dinner yeah. does that fall under the yeah no i know some of you have come here for recommendations on food yeah um but i don't want a full dinner i just don't i'm hungry just, i just want a bowl of cereal so i'm gonna have to buy some milk and in case you're wondering what i'm doing about a bowl i found this for 75 cents which... we'll take it back with us why do i want the bottle with moana on the top <laughs> That actually sounds quite nice. Orange good, mango. Good to grow bigger. Do you want to grow bigger? Yeah. No, do you know what? That is exactly what I want. <laughs> I'm so glad we persevered. Look, we found them. We're in business, guys. We're in business. Which colour shall I get? Also, I have seen people buying these ones and getting the car uh, the characters to sign. Yeah, all. cute. Such a good idea. But we're not going to do that because, you know. But which colour shall I get? This is quite nice. I want a new one, you see. What do you think? I quite like the green and pink. Yeah, green. Definitely. I also want one of these. This is what I had in mind. This is exactly what I wanted. But maybe not. I wanted more of a pink one. But to be honest, at this point, I'll take what I can get. That was a wonderful Target shopping trip. We got pretty much everything we needed apart from Fanta. They didn't have any Fanta. Mm. But we they had Fanta, but they had them in like the two litre bottles or really they had them in ones. cans. And it, cans were a bit heavy to take back with us, aren't they? And in the parks, yeah. So. Not quite it, but we will we will find some. And now it's really late. We ended up chatting to some viewers in there that will look very lovely on their honeymoon. They're a, ki a Kiwi couple yeah. on their honeymoon. So we're talking about weddings and New Zealand and Disney. Disney and and they were really, really lovely. <laughs> it was really nice. We're back in the room. I've got my bowl of Fruit Loops. I have absolutely no regrets. We're both really tired. So I'm gonna eat this, shower, get to bed. Tomorrow we're doing both parks and we have a lunch reservation at Lamplight Lounge in Disney's California Adventure. We're gonna try and see the projections on the castle, the Halloween ones. It might be that we have a bit of a line tomorrow and we go in a bit later and get some individual lightning lanes. I must say it's 20 to 10 and neither of us are hungry enough for dinner, dinner. No. So we definitely made the right choice by not forcing it. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this long Disney vlog. We'll be back with another one very soon. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And yeah, I'm really tired now. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye.